Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here. And today, uh, I wanted to try to troubleshoot uh, my unrecognizable hard drive in Windows 7. So I have the uh, Seagate Barracuda XT 2TB installed. And it's recognized in the BIOS just fine. right? And even the Intel Rapid Storage um, software recognizes my 2TB uh, disk. But in um, my computer, it doesn't. Now, traditionally, you want to go to Computer Management, right, here. So you just uh, go to Start, type in Computer Management, and it starts this up. And then you click on Disk Management here, right? And uh, you would see, or you're supposed to see, even though it's not formatted or whatever, you're supposed to see the drive at least. And uh, it does not show up here. Uh, I have the uh, Seagate C tools running. It does not show up here. Right here's my 500 gig um, installed. This is my uh, Momentus XT. Right, so uh, it doesn't show up in the Seagate tools. It does, however, show up here, and it shows up in the BIOS. But I can't figure out. And I and I uh, uh, used Hiren's boot CD to boot up a uh, Acronis disk uh, director, and then I saw the drive, and I formatted it, and I formatted it in NTFS. I have my hard drive plugged into the uh, 3 gigabit SATA 3 uh, SATA port and uh, it does not work um, I had it plugged into the 6 gigabit that's what I really wanted it for is a 6 gigabit because it's a 6 gigabit SATA 6 hard drive uh, does not work either right so I read online um, to uninstall and reinstall the uh, SATA drivers so um, if you go to my computer and you right click you go to properties right you get this here you can go to device manager right so um, this motherboard that I have has uh, uh, a SATA 6 gigabit uh, SATA controllers and then it also has a SATA 3 gigabit uh, SATA controllers and that is located oh wait a minute uh, my SATA controllers here so this is the SATA 6 controllers and then the SATA 3 controllers are here. Now I don't know uh, because my primary drive is installed on the SATA 6 controller. Um, I don't know if you necessarily have to do this but I uh, put it on 3 gigabit uh, SATA 3 controllers which is this right here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this. Hopefully this works. Um, delete the driver software for this device. No, I'll just leave it and I'll press OK. And apparently I have to restart my con computer. Um, so we'll come back and uh, once this restarts, um, it should uh, uninstall it and then hopefully I can come back and I can hit scan for um, hardware changes and it should recognize it up again. So uh, I'm going to restart this computer, so I'll be back. All right, so the computer just restarted. Um, it rebooted, and it automatically detected uh, the drivers, because remember, I uninstalled it. And uh, as soon as it started up again, it uh, detected the uh, SATA controller, so it installed the uh, SATA drivers, right? And so uh, it's asking, it's telling me that I have to restart one more time. So I'm going to restart it again and uh, we'll come back when this is done. All right, so we've successfully initialized our hard drive here and uh, there's a couple of things that we have to do. Um, I have to mention also that uh, I went ahead and uninstalled my SATA 6 uh, SATA controllers and my SATA 3 controllers. And remember that little checkbox that I didn't check? Uh, well, um, you should actually check that that's to delete the software so that actually gets rid of everything and uh, at first I was a little weary uh, about it but uh, I'm on my main drive here and it didn't delete anything but always make sure you got a backup of your data like this is some risky business here um, especially when it's uh, you know SATA controllers with on your main hard drive that your main hard drive is connected to uh, always back up your data so uh, I went ahead and uninstalled pretty much everything, uh, both of my SATA controllers. And uh, what I do realize now is that I have to download and install the um, uh, Intel SATA controllers or the SATA 6 controllers that Marvell 
uh, SATA controllers and uh, I've actually got the uh, the disk to my motherboard so I'm gonna go ahead and install that um, hopefully you don't uh, find that too difficult uh, for your motherboard um, but uh, I didn't really think I need to show it because uh, your um, SATA controller software may be different and uh, uh, it's just a, a third party kind of software even though it's made by Intel um, it should be fine for uh, um, Windows um, to not have that software but uh, I like to have it just because it's it's uh, Intel made software and it's I got an Intel chipset and stuff like that so I just want to make sure everything's running perfectly but um, uh, it's recognized here I can open up my hard drive and also uh, in my computer management under disk management I can also format it it's empty right now so I'm gonna go ahead and and format it and uh, <clears throat> we'll just call it um, just format it real quick gives you a bunch of air, uh, warnings to uh, format your drive and that's pretty much it so that's my um, troubleshooting guide to getting your uh, your uh, hard drive working even though it's detected in um, the BIOS and doesn't want to show up in Windows uh, you just have to uninstall and reinstall your uh, your SATA controller drivers All right that's pretty much it thanks for watching uh, please subscribe rate thumbs up thumbs down let me know if this worked for you uh, thanks for watching Jonathan the Geek out peace